One, two, three. We're open. Connecting the past to the present. We had a golf course that was on both sides when the Navy was here, and we took that away to make a park for the public. This is an extension of that park on this side of the river, but we had no way to access it unless you went out on the road. In 2020, North Charleston leadership wanted to build a bridge that connects Riverfront Park with the north side of Noisette Creek, but not just any bridge. We came up with the idea, let's build a bridge that's unlike any other bridge in the world. Two years later, that's exactly what they've done. This bridge has been ranked the number six bridge in the world for pedestrian walking and that's quite an accomplishment, so we're proud to uh, be able to have that. The 230-foot bridge that has two 55-foot tall steel arches is special for many reasons, including the one person who was instrumental in making the project come to fruition. Ray Anderson, who worked with me and passed away about six, seven weeks ago, uh, had most to do of anybody in the city on this project. He was out here all the time and come back and report to me. Anderson served as Mayor Summey's special assistant for 27 years, and he will soon be honored for his commitment to ensuring the bridge was complete. Later we will come back out and uh, name the bridge after Ray Anderson. Now that the bridge has connected the past to the present, Mayor Summey says this new structure is the start of a bright future for North Charleston. We're going to create a community, a whole community on this base from the commercial node or the industrial node all the way down through till we get back to Park Circle. Eventually, we'll see high rises, hotels, apartment complexes, and businesses located on this track. Now I'm told the bridge's arches are currently lit orange because it was Ray Anderson's favorite color. Reporting live from North Charleston, I'm Kevon Dupree. Count on two.